Hello everyone, Val here and welcome to a gameplay video on Gotham City Imposters. This was a pre-recorded video that I did last night. It was kind of it was one of the best matches I managed to do the whole bloody day. And the I got a few I got two pretty good kill, kill streaks in this one. And final kill to end the match, if I I'm sure. I'm not entirely sure. It might have been, it might have not been. Um, okay, so I'm rolling with uh, the Gatekeeper SMG, a Boomerang, Spring Boots, and a Rocket Launcher. Uh, and I have the uh, Armor Piercing mod on the SMG, which gives me a But unfortunately, I s need to uh, <laughs> be somewhere I'm not seen, then just quickly move over. And I can just like to get easily killed, like in this part right here. Someone managed to take a uh, backstab victory over there. Well, he had the uh, shredder gun. This part of the boomerang hit. And this was yeah, like a multi kill. I didn't even hear that first time. Yeah, this is the first part of the kill streak that I won't spoil what happened if I remember what the uh, Yeah, I did. It's kind of weird, I'm commentating on my own place now. I kind of, you know, that part I noticed I'm shooting at, then I sprint through over there. See that one guy gliding up there, the same guy I just shot. And then I shot him in the back. Oh. It seems that uh, I think my boomerang hit someone and caused them to fall down. I'm not entirely sure. And here I regenerate myself. I think we're up 1816. We end up being like 30, 25 or something at the end of the match. This is the uh, another good boomerang kill. That's corridor over there. You saw the where the one guy was shooting. That is the uh, most noted camping place. So if someone wants to have a little bit of edge, try to uh, flank them, as I usually do in this game. I just go around flanking people in my like, camping position. Like the guy who was in the party again. But unfortunately I'm not gonna get to kill him him because I'm gonna get the next step in three, two, one. Yeah. Comes for us all. I kinda remember there was somebody shooting at me when I jumped down onto the uh, small out problem. But I <laughs> forgot that at the time. Because it was quite late at night and I still got to kill that camper. I kind of got yeah, there was this one guy with the rocket launcher who killed me. Yeah, those rocket launchers are a real pain in the ass. <laughs> Little if they managed to spam those continuously. I don't even know how. Might have had those rocket things. Which kinda explains kinda explains the amount of shots he managed to do. This one guy trying to get a backstab victory at me again, I shoot him. Then I roll around, if I remember correctly. There was this one guy who I should have revived, but I didn't because I kind of heard like someone was behind me at the time. And then I go to the heel station, use the spring boots to get there. And then wait. And then jump. And this guy seems to be an obvious card player because he doesn't see me out like. He doesn't see me, although I was jumped right next to his fing face. I don't know, why do people who think that this is like Call of Duty, they are ever wish... Imagine like putting hands on the sides of your head and trying to live like that for the rest of your life. That's the FOV in a Call of Duty game. And this one was the kill streak. Shot, that's what I did. I believe there's one last one and that will end the match. Yes, it did. Okay, that was my bad attempt on coming in my own playstyle and I finished second, as I remembered. Yeah, okay, so I hope you liked this video, and please tell me if you like it, do you want me to do more of these, or at least attempt to do more of these, in my very bad commentary playstyle. I'll see you guys later, bye-bye!